हेलो एंड वेलकम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अवधेश निरंजन एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू एक्वाजोम्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एक्वाजोम्स एट इट्स नेम इंडिकेट्स द एक्वस वहीकल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर मींस ड्रग कंटेनिंग एक्वस वहीकल इज नोन एज एक्वाजोम्स Equasomes are nanoparticle or nanoparticulate carrier system, but instead of being simple nanoparticle, these are three-layered self-assembled structures. It comprised of a solid phase nanocrystalline core coated with oligomeric film on which biochemically active molecules are adsorbed with or without modification. Equasomes are like bodies of water, and their water-like properties protect and preserve fragile biological molecules. And this property of maintaining conformational integrity, as well as high degree of surface exposure, is exploited in targeting of bioactive molecules. Equasomes consist of solid crystalline core, carbohydrate coat, and active drug. If we talk about the structure of equasomes, equasomes are spherical in shape and having size range between sixty to three hundred nanometers. This is the structure of equasome. It contains three main layers this is core the center part is known as core the middle layer is known as coat and the outer layer is known as drug layer so drug is basically adsorbed onto it first of all we prepare core then we coat the carbohydrate layer or the coating material onto the onto the core and then we adsorbed the drug which is going to be transported to the target site let us now discuss about method of preparations there are mainly three steps to prepare equasomes by using the principle of self assembly equasomes can be prepared in three steps first one is preparation of core first of all we prepare the core of the equasome then we coat that core with a coating material and then finally the drug molecule is immobilized or adsorbed onto the coating onto the coating layer so look at this part principle of self assembly what is the principle of self assembly in aqueous biological environments the assembly of macro the assembly of macro molecule is governed by the three processes first is interaction between charged group hydrogen bonding and dehydration structural stability the very first step is the formation of an inorganic core it involves the fabrication of a ceramic core and the procedure depends upon the materials selected the two most commonly used ceramic cores are calcium phosphate and diamond 
so how we can prepare this inorganic core here is a diagram how we can prepare an aquasome first of all we take calcium phosphate this is also known as brucite or hydroxy apatite or ceramic diamond this is the core material then we will coat this core material with the help of polyhydroxyl compound so in the next step we will get coated core then we will adsorb drug onto the coated core finally we get drug loaded aquasome so here is the final structure of aquasome which contain three basic layers core layer coat layer and drug it adsorbed onto it it involves synthesis of nano crystalline tin oxide core ceramic it can be synthesized by direct current reactive magnetron sputtering second second step is to self assembled nano crystalline brucite this is also known as calcium phosphate dihydrate these can be prepared by colloidal precipitation and sonication by reacting solution of disodium hydrogen phosphate and calcium chloride in the next step nano crystalline carbon ceramic diamond particles these can also be used for the core synthesis after ultra cleansing and sonication the second step is the coating of the core with polyhydroxy oligomer in the second step ceramic cores are coated with carbohydrate such as polyhydroxyl oligomer the coating is carried out by addition of carbohydrate into an aqueous dispersion of the cores under sonication these are then subjected to lyophilization to promote an irreversible adsorption of carbohydrate onto the ceramic surface the unadsorbed carbohydrate is removed by centrifugation the commonly used coating materials are cellulosecitrate pyridoxal 5 phosphate and sucrose the third and last step in the preparation of aquasomes is loading of the drug of choice to this assembly this step is also known as immobilization of drug The final stage involves the loading of drug to the coated particles by adsorption. For that a solution of known concentration of drug is prepared in suitable pH buffer and coated particles are dispersed into it. The dispersion is then either kept overnight at low temperature for drug loading or lyophilized after some time so that or so as to obtain the drug loaded formulation for example aquasome let us now discuss characterization of aquasomes size distribution these are the characterization for aquasomes means how we can characterize the finally prepared aquasomes so first of all we characterize it 
as size distribution for size distribution so for morphological character morphological characteristics and size distribution analysis we will use or we can use a scanning electron microscopy that is also known as sim and transmission electron microscopy tim these are generally used for size distribution mean particle size and zeta potential of the particle can also be determined by using photo correlation spectroscopy another characterization technique is structural analysis we can identify or we can characterize structural analysis by ftir spectroscopy ftir means Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy and for crystallinity the prepared ceramic core can be analyzed for its crystalline and amorphous behavior using x-ray diffraction technique now what are the applications of aquasomes so we will now discuss one by one application of aquasomes Aquasomes are used as vaccines for delivery of vital antigens. Let us now discuss an example of vital antigens delivery through aquasomes. These are some of the examples. We can deliver Epstein Barr virus that is also known as EBV and human immune deficiency virus that is also known as HIV. Aquasomes are RBC substitutes hemoglobin immobilized on oligomer surface because release of oxygen by hemoglobin is conformationally sensitive. They are used as successful targeted for intracellular gene therapy. These are also used as or used in the delivery of enzymes like DNAs and pigment dyes. Echosomes are also used as an oxygen carrier. So, thank you for listening or watching this video. Kindly subscribe our channel and like our video. And press the bell icon for getting such type of educational videos. Thank you all.